transition between the tin tomatoes and the seeded bread rolls. A smooth groove through their middle douche corridor. The sensor replensor up back between the fridges and freezers. It's the Middle Isle Podcast. Hello and welcome to this, another look into some of the anomalies found over the last week in the middle aisles of our favourite German supermarkets. I'm your store manager, Rob. And I'm the local well-known and obvious shoplifter, Al. This week we're joined by our jobless and nobless Raiders of the Middle Isle, Josh. Hello. And our special guest today is Craig. Hello. Uh, for the last week we've been loitering around the Middle Isles of well-known German supermarkets seeking out the most obscure and bizarre items that money can buy. We'll be taking it in turns to show our items, which none of us have prior knowledge of. So without further ado, let's see who's at the front of the queue and spin the wonky trolley wheel of fate. It's going to be me, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Checkout one is now open. Okay, this week I have a National Geographic insect torture chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, uh, bug magnifier. Yeah. Um, nothing like having bigger bugs, is there? There's nothing like, yeah, exactly. Um, it's, it's obviously a, a toy for children. And what I can tell, it's a glass jar, well, a plastic jar with a magnifying glass on the top of it. And no uh, so holes or anything like burn. that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what you're kidding. You, yeah. you say it's a toy for children, but did National Geographic not get bought out by the Daily Mail? I don't know. I mean, it, it's a really good toy if you've got a, a little kid called Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, it's just it just makes burning ants a lot easier from all I can tell. It's uh, it's just a, a piece of plastic where it's like a, a beaker with a magnifying glass that you screw on the top. So yeah, all you can do is uh, get your get your little ladybird there or whatever it is, stick so it a, in there and watch it melt. So it's a bug magnifier and grill. Uh, <laughs> 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 the world's smallest barbecue. <laughs> well, I was having a look through the uh, instructions on this and uh, operating instructions. It's just basically open the lid and put your stuff in. But it does uh, have in it risk of fire. Do not place the device, particularly lenses in direct sunlight. The concentration of light could cause a fire. So the well obviously knows <laughs> that, that you put this yeah. in sunlight, you can set fire to stuff. Stuff. So it's all right if you put bugs in it. I mean, if you brought out a thing that was like, oh, we'll have a look at birds, magnify your birds, but you yeah. put them in this thing that sets them on fire, there'd be an outcry, wouldn't there? Where do you, where oh, do you yeah. find bugs mainly? In yeah. your garden. Exactly. In the sun. You're not doing it in the rain, are you? Yeah. And the other thing that really stunned me about this purchase was it comes with a warranty card. <laughs> <laughs> a five-year warranty, I think Can you it fill is. it out? Yeah, you, you fill it out, yeah. Is it addressed to the Daily Mail? <laughs> no. Does it come with a reusable cover? It's No, but it's got, <laughs> it's got five years uh, warranty period from the date of purchase. Is that in case it sets on fire? <laughs> <laughs> in case it burns itself, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, spontaneous combustion. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, the ant's gone up in flames. It must be a fire ant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a glow worm. Oh, look, here you go, look. It's just, it's just plastic. <laughs> that That's all it is. It's terrible. Got it's, got, it's got a thing in there that can measure the size. It's got a little ruler so you yeah. can see what size your bugs are. And then you just. Yeah, so you can shake the bug onto that ruler once it's dead. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Or if you ever have a testicle removed, <laughs> you could pickle it in there and see if it changes size. <laughs> well, if you, little... Yeah, you're going to... It's yeah, bigger than the, the box. box would suggest, isn't it? Yeah, it looks... Like, I think that... No, I... you're just looking into the magnifying end. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um... Yeah, look at that. That one centimetre has become four. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Austin Powers? Yeah. It's like that for boobs. <laughs> Swiss boob enlarger. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Let's have a look. Make your penis look bigger. <laughs> Says here, your purchase has purpose, and I think we've now found it with that. <laughs> yeah, I did, spot, I did spot that as well. What's the, what's the purpose? Starting Sex. fires. <laughs> C- cooking stuff. It's like that. Uh, it was that guy on 999 Watcher Emergency when he was in Blackpool. He was just phoning the fire fire service all the time, weren't he? Do you want to know a great, a great story yeah. about him? Yeah. <laughs> I love how you know him instantly. <laughs> he went to my school, right? And me and my mate, I won't name my mate and yeah. I won't name the lad, but yeah. we started a rumour that he had sex with his dog, right? <laughs> So anyway, he kind of he kind of got a little bit out of hand whilst we were at school, and then about fifteen years later, 
he's on he's on there and people on Facebook are going, oh, what a bastard. And then someone randomly just put, I heard that he has sex with animals. <laughs> so I text my mate. I was like, have you said this? He's still rumbling. That's class, mate. You're the Mandela effect people. <laughs> Do you remember, Poor guy. Do you remember as well? I'm, 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 he I'm, never I'm, denied it. He never denied <laughs> it. So. Maybe it's true. Maybe he believes it himself. <laughs> And yeah, people would reply like, what a dirty bastard. <laughs> Lock Brilliant. him up. <laughs> Cut his bollocks off. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Checkout 2 is now open. Ernesto. Oh, hey, more Ernesto. Some Ernestos, yeah. We like Ernesto. Uh, universe, I bought two things, actually, just because there was one, and then I saw another and thought, well, I'll get two. Why not? Universal lid set. Right. So you can put, you know, you, you got, like, have you ever thought, put a lid on it? Now yeah, that's can. quite a common phrase that people yeah. do yeah. use. Put yeah. a lid on it. When the bug's getting... Qu- too hot yeah <laughs> <laughs> take the magnifying glass off and put your Ernesto yeah, put universal it the, lid set put on. it in the slow cooker so yeah I mean the, the first one the, <laughs> the bigger one of the two um, I mean it shows just a normal onion rather than a sad one and a pan so I, right, I get it okay you've got a pan that that's, that's, that, that's that size that's perfect this one shows cups of, cups of tea yeah because you go With through the effort on. of making tea to drink it to then put a and lid on to it to put a lid on your tea puts a lid on your tea and then obviously there's multiple in it so yeah. you know if you've got guests and they're a bit sort of like why have you got a lid and I haven't oh well there you go Ernesto's provided lids lids for all it but, seems like more of an inconvenience than anything that having a lid on your brain yeah. you know, have, have you never caught malaria from a cup of tea <laughs> <laughs> no, they're very um, floppy goodbye malaria <laughs> yeah yeah the rubber mats yeah, very... I, I always just imagine rubber getting warm and Again, just leaving a bit of a taint boob stuff <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. Put a lid on your tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just like um it just looks like a crap bit of rubber. That's a that's what it is, it's a crap bit of rubber. It's just the middle aisle just producing absolute crap again. That's something that's been manufactured by mistake and they've gone <laughs> shit, what we're gonna do with it? Hang about we could make a couple of quid out of it. I I, I, I know a, I know a guy. <laughs> Hello, is that an Esto? <laughs> <laughs> What I'll take them all. <laughs> it's burnt. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there we go. A pound as well. One, yeah. Well, they were in the reduced aisle. Oh well. I don't know if you. I don't know if you know why that the, is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, straight into the reduced aisle. They didn't even bother putting it out in Gen Pop. Yeah. <laughs> in Gen Pop. <laughs> yeah, they were hoping to move it out of the uh, into the increased pile. <laughs> yeah. I mean, later on. I'm sure. I'm sure I've got a, a pan somewhere that doesn't have a lid. I just use one of the bigger pans lids on it. You know what I mean? And it sits yeah. on it. And I don't. I can't ever imagine me. And if you're going to put a lid on your pan, you want it to be see through, don't you? You want to be able to see what's boiling. You want to see what. You want to see what the rack's cooking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what they anyway. would be good for if you eat cereal whilst you're driving. <laughs> Never said always sunny. <laughs> What was that video? There'd that be went? no suit lawsuit if if you had one of those on the. Uh... What was that video that went viral? And it was that uh, uh, like dad in the car of his son, and the son's obviously being driven to school, and he's eating cereal, and he's just like playing like a hip hop track, and it kicks in, and he just starts grabbing oh, yeah, his son yeah, and yeah, shaking yeah. him. He's covered in cereal, like gets drenched, though. Like. Yeah, it's good. And then drops off at school. Yeah. Um, right, shall we? Uh, shall we move on? I think we should. Checkout three is now open. Okay, so this week I have got a grow your own pizza garden. <laughs> Is that where pizzas grow in the garden? <laughs> so. <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> oh. So it's a, it's just like a planter, but it's so, it's a grow and decorate your own pizza garden. Three ninety nine, made by Creative Sprouts for ages <laughs> six, <laughs> <laughs> for ages six and up. It says decorate and paint, plant and grow, and add to pizza. But like, it's, I mean, it's, well, oh, so it, oh, it's toppings. It, yeah, so it's, it's right. a toppings. But who just eats an oregano, basil, and parsley pizza? Do you know what I mean? Somebody who's very exciting. Yeah. Mm. Vegans. Well, you could, if you... <laughs> Is that going to... No, 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 It's all right. We've done vegan, not vegan. As long as you've got vegan cheese, you're all right. Oh, right. Well, it's a non-discriminative uh, pizza garden. You could use... Te- you could milk tiny um, goats in your bug magnifier and make <laughs> some goat's cheese to go on you. And to keep the flies off, yeah. we've got these handy... Uh, <laughs> 
says it not suitable for children under 36 months and why don't they just say three that it really irritates me that at what age do you like stop referring to yourself in months do you know what I mean anyway I um, still do personal gripe for me that one 471 <laughs> months I am yeah, yeah. adult supervision required at all times avoid contact with eyes so don't even look at it right so literally avoid contact with eyes <laughs> avoid contact which, with which eyes which bit like the, the box the... just the, the product in general do you know what I mean <laughs> so anyway let's open it up and have a look that's pretty much most products that aren't eye drop Avoid contact with eyes. Avoid, <laughs> what are you avoking contact with? Just look at, don't look at it for too long. I've told you not to stare at the pizza garden. You've heard about Medusa. Well, look what Lidl's got. So it's basically a to dough. Plan. Again, that is a big, like, like <laughs> the size of it is as big it's as a the cup. Box. It's a cup size, isn't it? Anyway, we've, uh, what did you call it? So it's like, uh, it's about the size of a celebrations tin. And uh, and what you do is you put your soil, and the soil's not included as well. You've got to soil it. Yeah, you've got to soil it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then you plant your seeds, and uh, why has it got paint go? and a paintbrush with it? Because it's a grow and decorate oh, your own pizza right. garden. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well. it's not not some basic riffraff. This mate, you, know you what de- I mean? decorate your pizza. Well, yeah, you can either put these stickers on your pizza. <laughs> oh, they're great. <laughs> So we've just got um, like some stickers in the box with pictures of food on that looks like inedible food. Pictures of food that looks like inedible food. <laughs> is it food or not? <laughs> it's, well, no, it's, it's just it's gone food. off food. It's, it's, just, like, it's just piles what, of rotting meat. Well, like what's what's that? What that at the bottom? It's an olive. Oh, so, yeah. Clearly, well, I don't bad clip art. Pitted, I don't eat pitted olive. I'm not a prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that has been argued. <laughs> yes, mate. So, uh, grab your cup of water. Water, put the newspaper down and get ready to paint your pizza garden, it says here. So, yeah, first thing... I don't, why do you have to paint it? What's painting it? Why? Well, it's just meant to be fun, It just keeps it? you busy yeah. for the six months that everything's <laughs> growing in yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does it come with soil? Well, it's got that, but I don't think... That's not soil. It's that... That's that like looks like... Mesolite. V- vermiculite. Vermiculite. I think it's like it. cappuccino dust. <laughs> It does look like, yeah, the bottom of a coffee machine. Imagine going into Costa and just swapping that. Yes. Carefully. Oh. It's very earthy, this blend, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you grow them in that. It's going to take three to three months uh, in the right time of year. A- Any time I've tried to grow herbs, right, other than one chilli plant, they've always died. They've never been fruitful. Like, I've tried to grow basil, rosemary. Oh. So these are like the most, these are the easiest things to grow. Know. You know that, don't you? <laughs> I know, yeah. You know Do what you would... need? Like a, a tinfoil lined wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and right. a bulb. Yeah. yeah, mate, definitely. Grow anything. <laughs> and, and, or a, a lift to the shop, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I quite like the idea of, uh, of like, yeah, growing herbs to use in cooking but anytime you do it right or you know, like one of my friends grows a bit of fruit and veg and that and you get enough for one meal so you spend six months growing it and you've got like one meal's worth and it's just like I don't know yeah, but you feel good because you did it you know what I mean it's that uh, job job yeah, satisfaction the, yeah. the same yeah, thing happens with me with money yeah <laughs> Yes, right. so, I mean, oh, just, cool. te- just saved te- up for six months. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> just teach kids to use a Domino's app. <laughs> Domino's. Oh, let's let's look, go on, get on to that one. It's the most overpriced crap in Britain yes. and America and globally. Hundred percent. It's just so. It's like twenty five quid for a pizza or whatever it is. It's absolutely ludicrous. I won't, I'd, I'd say it don't even cost them more than. A, I'd, be, I'd be amazed if one of them cost them a quid to make. If you were in a restaurant yeah. and you saw pizza on the menu for over twenty pounds, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. We're not eating yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. someone brings it to my house in a moped <laughs> there you go take my money <laughs> that's, that's very true that mate yeah. should we move on then let's move on checkout four is now open how are you craig right this is my big moment <laughs> i've got a uh, door and window stopper set <laughs> pack of two Pack what, of, what does it stop your window from doing? I I, it stops your window from closing. It's from a hard Star it's, Wars. Burglars love it. <laughs> it does look like a Star Wars <laughs> yeah, It does. I mean, the door stops, brilliant. What a great invention, but the window stop. There's no need for it. No. Yeah, yeah, you don't often like, you go, you know, to get, move into a house and go, oh, crap, we need to get the window stops. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the window stops? Oh, what? <laughs> You were meant to be getting the window stopped. I told you, you were on the phone to Karen and you forgot him, hadn't you? <laughs> but they also work as, like, handle protectors so they stop your wall getting whacked. Handle protectors? Yeah, well, yeah, on the... I mean, that that's more useful than a window stopper, to be fair. <laughs> but on the back, it shows, like, it'll stop your door handle damaging your wall. Right. For £1.50. Good. Looks like a Stormtrooper's dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Prince Charles's in-ear monitors. <laughs> <laughs> His lizard licks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, that's class. <laughs> um, Outstanding. Let's have a look. Livano Living. Livano Living. There's a new one there. To well, go up there Livano. With Ernesto and what? Kirkston the, House. Kirkston, Kirkston House. Parkside. Parkside. Yeah. Dent. Didn't. Oh, we haven't uh, we haven't looked for sad onions. Oh, a sec. They'll be abundant. This hasn't got. This has got. Um, this has got a uh, knuckle duster pointy finger on it. Knuckle duster <laughs> pointy finger. Yeah. Actually, yeah. sounds like the worst kung fu movie in history. Maybe that is secretly just a weapon. <laughs> I've always thought that with guitar capos that they are just knuckle dusters. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, you know, like people walk home with the keys in between the knuckles. Well, if you don't have a house, this is perfect. Yeah, for, for punching people, but not for your doors you don't have. <laughs> or, or if you want to punch someone, but just to shock them not to actually hurt them a rubber stopper <laughs> just flick just them. Like, yeah. flick them with it well they did get this in, in uh, Native American warfare because at times they didn't want to like um, absolutely wipe out the tribes because they knew that like the the, tri- the other tribes people would have died things. out they used to use these things called coup sticks so basically they used to go into like a battle or they'd raid another tribe at night and they'd touch you with this stick and if it hit you you would just have to like say you're out but you won't you won't kill you and that's how they'd go to war so that they didn't kill them all out. I wish we still did that. Yeah. Is that how the band the acoustics got their members? Yeah. <laughs> you in the band. <laughs> I'm just I'm just marveling at that. To be honest, yeah, it's um it's shit. Let me have a look. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be. <laughs> oh, I, the cheers was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> Made for soft, flexible, and anti-slip material. A window and a door are not really. You don't. They're not synonymous with being soft. Are they? Is it made from or for? No, made from. Ma- oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, we'll call my, that my out, mistake. Mate, yeah, get that out. <laughs> <laughs> That when Romans were little through the day. <laughs> yeah, Romans are little during the day. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Al, what's on the cards? What's on the cards? Stoner Safari. <laughs> It's a wildlife guessing game, a hot box of 56 meme-worthy cards, and um, how to play. Take turns reading the animal stoner names out loud to the group. First player to correctly guess to describe animal wins the round. Dead simple. Excellent. Okay, you ready to play? Let's everyone, go. Let's... Everyone stoned suitably? Mm, uh, no. <coughs> uh, right, number one, Florida murder log. That sounds like what I do after a bad curry. <laughs> <laughs> Very humid. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of anything to say because my brain's just going, don't say school, don't say school. <laughs> is it a crocodile? He's going a crocodile or a gator. It's a gator, yeah, you know, yeah. Gator. It's a, it is a, uh, an alligator. Or... Oh, right, I get you. Yeah. I get the game now. He's get, he's, oh, he's on there now. Right, cool. Uh, a construction otter. <laughs> <laughs> Knickers. <laughs> construction otter. <laughs> um, Beaver. Yeah, I would beaver. have thought it is. Yeah. It is a beaver, uh, an African hose nose. <laughs> 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 Sounds like half the people in Blackpool on a Saturday night. <laughs> uh, Henry Hoover. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. gotta be an elephant, isn't it? Yeah, uh, it is an elephant. Maybe. Rob's winning here. A danger noodle. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> I know, so I was thinking, I was like, is it hormonal male teenagers? Yeah. It, it depends who it's attached to, whether it's <laughs> hanging, dangerous or not. Hanging out with your wanger out. Yeah. Hanging out with your wanger out. Danger new. Oh, it's a snake. Yes, yeah, not yeah. a trouser snake, yeah. an actual snake. Yeah. Um, how about a fruity jungle penguin? That sounds Does like it? a biscuit that Lidl would make. <laughs> <laughs> Is it um, Toucan? You're right. Yeah. It is a Toucan. Yeah. Very well done there, Josh. Um, what else we got here? A chubby water dog. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, <laughs> not, not Rob. <laughs> um, Rebecca Adlington. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. she's not fat. She's not. I don't even know what you're talking about, mate. So I'm, I'm good. She's a swimmer. Right. <laughs> well, the face like a boat. <laughs> no, she looks like a dolphin, doesn't she? So yeah. that's why she's good at swimming. Right. If she was she a can't... boxer, she'd have looked like Free Willy, wouldn't she? <laughs> <laughs> Chubby water dog. A seal. <laughs> a, yes, a seal. Seal. Right. Okay. Last uh, last couple here. We've got a formal chicken. <laughs> formal chicken. A formal chicken. Not an informal chicken. A formal chicken. Mm. Um, uh, uh, the French at war. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. I ain't got a clue on that one. No, it's, it's pretty obvious when you say it. Hang on, I'm thinking. Formal chicken. Is it a penguin? It is a penguin. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 and uh, the last one. It's, it's pretty easy. Uh, a fart squirrel. A fart squirrel is a skunk, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Me. Get this right. Yeah. You know, I bet all the stoners love that one when it comes out. <laughs> oh, skunk man. You, you, you know. <laughs> you know, like when you can say things like that, like oh, get stoner appropriation. You get it no, mixed sorry. up. Well, I was uh, in the car coming back, right? Uh, what from guys? caught with my girlfriend's dad and it was when me and Becca just first got together so why I did you take your girlfriend's dad together <laughs> no, <laughs> no Becky was with me as well right but yeah he picked us up that's even worse <laughs> <laughs> there were three in the tub and we're having but a rub we were coming back and I didn't really I didn't really like know him so well at the time so I didn't want to like make a tip of myself as I usually do and anyway uh, there'd been that fire at Dublin airport right and it was like we, I was asking about it oh have you seen this and he went yeah I've seen that fire at, and he paused he went at the the plane station and I'm just <laughs> I'm sat in the back of the car like a train like, station but, yeah. but I'm like I'm like that's not right that. like the plane station is like the you airport, the airport. <laughs> it, was, it was class <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Sony time. plane station <laughs> class brilliant so um, there it is another episode of the Middle Isle Podcast all wrapped up for your chance to get involved head over to Instagram and search for the Middle Isle Podcast we'll be letting you vote on your favourite item from each show at the end of the series the item with the most lights will be crowned the winner all the items from the series will be raffled off the proceeds of which will go to the winners nominated charity we're also on Facebook and Twitter so don't forget to give us a like and a follow to keep up with all things Middle Isle if you find any gems yourself feel free to share them with us because we'd love to see them uh, don't forget if you're listening on iTunes to give us a review and, uh, and a five stars and share 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 it like the wind share wins. it share it about for now it's thanks for listening it's a goodbye from me it's a goodbye from Al goodbye goodbye from Craig goodbye Bye. Goodbye from Josh. See you later. Cheers. Peace.